This video is going to show you how you set up your checkout page and your order list page. The checkout page will be the page where the customer, the visitor of your website will enter in their information and credit card information to purchase the first product or service that you're selling. And the order list is the page which the customer will end on, which will show all of their purchases, all the help sells and down sells that they purchased from you. So when you activate the plugin, a checkout page and order page will automatically be added to your website. So we activated the plugin and here's our checkout page and I created an orders, orders page. I renamed it order summary. But you can have those pages whatever you'd like. So for example, I'm going to add a new page and I'm going to call it checkout test. So let's go ahead and publish that. I'm going to add another new page. I'm going to call it order list test. I'm going to go ahead and publish that page. So now what we want to do is we want to come back to our settings page. And from the checkout we tell it what page the checkout page will be. So I want it to be checkout test and the order list page, which page will that be? I want it to be order list test. The next step is you simply copy these short codes and paste them inside of your new pages. So I'm gonna check I'm gonna copy the checkout short code and add it to our checkout test page. And again, it's only going to, it's going to take form of your current website's theme and functionality. It doesn't make its own page. It's simply going to embed the form, the checkout form inside your page. So you can have whatever you want above the text, above the short code, the form, and you can have whatever you'd like below the form. So I'm going to go ahead and hit update. We're going to view the page. As you can see, here is our form. So again, here's the text above it, the text below it, and that is now our page that they will land on when they click to purchase the first product that you're selling them. So you want to do the same thing for the order list. So let's go ahead and copy the order list short code go back to our pages we said hey we want to add it to the order list test that's our order list page go ahead and edit the page and same thing it's simply going to drop in the order summary the order list form inside of your page however your look and feel is of your page so I'm going to add the short code we can add whatever you want above it you can add whatever you'd like below it Go ahead and hit update. Let's view the page. So there you go. We have some the text above it, the items that we purchased, and the text below it. So that's how you set up your checkout page and order list page.